morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, Mar market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 17th of Jan 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, market price action, we have the Asian markets mixed once again. Okay, very strange price action in uh, in Asia, given the fact that the uh, Shanghai was down again uh, today before it actually reversed sharply. So again, Shanghai finishing higher, the Hang Seng fig finishing higher. But the Nikkei certainly under pressure, well, severely under pressure, down 280 odd points now. If I bring up the Nikkei chart for you, okay, you can see that we flushed into gap fill now. Certainly flushed into gap fill, okay. Now let's see where we finished here, around the 18.813. So again, holding that potential double bottom scenario. So it'll be interesting to see if you can close this gap here, which is at 18.480. Okay, we've obviously closed this gap here at 18.760. So uh, Nikkei is certainly retracing, and that certainly is being led by the, uh, the strength in the yen with the USDJPY now back at 113. We have the uh, Brexit uncertainty uh, unfolding with the uh, inflation data out of the UK this morning certainly coming in stronger than expected, sending sterling up to 1.2150. Uh, I think we actually have closed the gap now. Let me just confirm and check. Okay, yep, the gap certainly has closed. So the 60 minute chart, you can see we've spiked here and we've certainly more or less closed that gap at 1.12, 1 1.2190 in that region. So certainly looking for risk of, uh, well, certainly risk aversion to abate now. And looking for European equities certainly to start to move higher. That's my interpretation. Okay, now uh, Miss May's speech is uh, due shortly at uh, eleven o'clock onwards, and it'll be interesting to see what she has to say uh, and how the markets will obviously react to her statement. Now we have had German ZEW data out just now. Uh, current situation at seventy-seven, and economic sentiment uh, is coming in at higher at sixteen. So again, very very impressive. Okay, certainly arguing towards the upside in terms of uh, bullish buys for equities. Now let's bring up the chart of the German DAX. As you can see here, we're certainly flushing going into this trees and May speech. Daily chart certainly moving lower as well. The 60 minute chart did have a HNS formation, okay? And it'll be interesting to see whether or not it can be sustained or whether or not we reverse. Now we have left two gaps un uh, 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 unfilled above. So again, watch out for those two gaps. And we are now coming into potential support for the German DAX, given the fact that we are past S3 a uh, support so certainly oversold uh, for the German DAX now the French CAC bring up the French CAC here certainly building a base around that 4845 looking to potentially thrust tire on the 10 minute chart 60 minute chart as well previous support previous resistance equals support okay so certainly a zone to uh, certainly find support okay so yep French CAC certainly coming into support okay looking to potentially bounce here at this zone certainly have put in a bottoming tail. So European equities certainly have sold off. The FTSE 100 certainly has broken the bullish channel. So again, certainly a warning sign there from a technical perspective. 60 minute chart certainly flushing down. It hasn't flushed as, as low as uh, pivots S3 support as of yet. So it'll be interesting to see how that responds. Given the fact that the uh, the GBP USD chart certainly is into that uh, uh, gap fill region, therefore you are looking at resistance for the FTSE. Uh, sorry, resistance for uh, sterling, and therefore you are looking for support on the FTSE 100. So, given the fact that the HS formation has the target has been fulfilled, we are now looking for a reversal. So, keep an eye out on the reversal in terms of the FTSE uh, itself. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Again, let's just have a look here. There we go. Okay, so any, any, any pop here or retracement here, you are going to see resistance above uh, in terms of the. Uh, FTSE 100 now. Any pop here will be see. Well, you will see resistance at 7320 potentially. Okay, so watch out for 7320, and then obviously you have support at 7317. So that's a zone to watch in terms of the FTSE 100, and certainly looking for a pop higher on the uh, on the actual equities uh, front. Okay, so uh, that's the situation with regards to the FTSE. But bear in mind, daily chart certainly is showing weakness, and whether or not we'll start to uh, fold or uh, fold lower. Okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, let's just bring up the Euro stocks as well. Euro stocks certainly flushed into that previous resistance equal support on the 60 minute chart. So, certainly a strong argument here. 
And the 10 minute chart is uh, certainly putting in a potential double bottom scenario at that pivot low at uh, 3272. Okay, in terms of the uh, the actual European indices. Okay, so on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. And uh, please do visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.